Hey, what's up guys? So what is going on? Work hard October. I can't seem to film anywhere without having a mirror in the background. Oh Lord. Work hard October has gone full force and there's so many things that are happening. It's, it's crazy. Uh, one random fact, my parents are on board. So they're cruising around the med. They're seeing the med for the first time and hopefully we get to do some things together off the ship. One major issue is we're currently at sanitization level three, which is called red level. <laughs> which means the crew are not allowed to enter passenger area or anywhere that the passengers are uh, currently roaming around the ship because there's a virus going around. Some sort of gastro, neuro, gross, oh. Thing. And that's been going on for about about two weeks. So I've been in crew area since then, and it's been, uh, well, it's been rough. However, it has been a good motivator to get things done. One of those things is to work on this project that I've been working on for over a year. It's an app, and it's called MindChi, and I'm going to introduce you to it right now. Okay, so here we are. We're using a quick little simulator here uh, because I'm using my phone to film this. But this is MindChi. It's a meditation-based uh, mindfulness app uh, designed to... Uh, oh, I can use a mirror here. Designed to, to help you become more and more mindful, uh, improve your life in eight minutes a day is basically the tagline of this MindChi system. So, yeah, so it's really cool. It's got... Um, you know, the, the meditation uh, section here, and it's got this little clock, and uh, yeah, it gives you explanations, and you can, you know, tap on uh, things, and, and there's all kinds of vibration and, and things like that that uh, cue you to go on to the next step. Uh, there's a learning section uh, with different articles that allows you to uh, to learn more about the, the meditation and resilience and uh, some progress tracking and you know you got your settings and there's some reminders to remind you to meditate and things like that so it's cool I can't wait to get this thing out actually there's a quick little story about this this app because it's, it's, uh, it's not on the store right now uh, but it used to be so for the past six months I've been redesigning uh, this app that I used to have on the App Store. So I pro I've started uh, making this app over a year ago, maybe over, oh my gosh, over three or four years ago, I want to say. I was living in New York City at the time, and I created the first version of this app and released it to the world. It was the first app I ever uploaded to the App Store. Unfortunately, you know, long story short, I, I got this job uh, on cruise ships and I couldn't maintain working on the app anymore. So I had to, I couldn't update it. Uh, and so what Apple does is if you don't um, update the app after a while, they take it off the store. Uh, they said, you know, the, the only, the, you know, we're sorry, but the only way to keep this on the store is if you um, add some kind of update, like a 0.01 version update, like change, change a font or uh, just, just uh, fix, fix something or change something just to know that we're, that you're maintaining it, that you're working on it. And um, I couldn't do it at the time because I couldn't, you know, I didn't have the internet. But now I do. And I'm not just changing fonts. <laughs> I'm changing the whole thing. In fact, I've completely uh, redesigned this thing uh, from the beginning. I started over. I said, new document. Let's go. New app. And, uh, and thus this MindChi app was created. What happened was I spent three weeks on my break uh, between, sh between ships and just just completely redesigning this thing going from the full process of like designing each screen just in like photoshop you know to oh how can i how can i make this better uh than what it was before and now it takes more of the design principles that you use nowadays like back when i was when i created the the original mindchi app sidebar and like han hamburger menus were still a thing hamburger menus were still a thing back then they're gone now.
Now you just use little tab bars on the bottom. But it's design principles like that that make things easier and more intuitive. And I'm scared to use that word. But, <laughs> you know, something that people are used to seeing on the iPhone nowadays, they're used to seeing things on the, like, thumb menus on the bottom, not, not hamburger menus on the side. Little things like that have to be taken into account, but I also wanted to make this app more of a coach in a way. Instead of a, just a, a glorified timer, it's more like a, you know, it, it gives you uh, feedback based on, you know, how you, how often you use it. And it keeps track of your progress. And uh, these, this the learning section and the, well, all these articles are going to be such an amazing resource for people that don't know very much about MindChi, uh, the the system that this is based upon. And this isn't a system I've created. This is a system that somebody else, that my uh, my client, has created, and is uh, it's, it seems to be working very well and very successfully. So I'm really happy to get, basically give back to the community, to the world with this app, and it, I do think it actually has the ability to help people, which is which is crazy. That's awesome. So, work hard October. Let's do another angle for that. I need more coffee. Wow. Okay. So Work Hard October has not just been about trying to get these videos up and running in, in 3D, which by the way, my first Watch Me Work video went live and I'm really happy with how it turned out. All right, so I'm currently exporting my very first Watch Me Work video. It's been a fun, a fun little uh, experiment. It's probably the best way to explain it, an experiment. I'm trying to figure out the best way to explore my ex export it, wow. X format it. <laughs> Trying because you know I don't have the I don't have the best data connection, uh, you know, on a ship. I'm actually watching some YouTube videos on uh, Cinema 4D, one of the recent conferences, and uh, Maxon puts a uh, a playlist together of all of the speakers and all their presentations, and they're really inspiring. So, wow, this is exporting. I'm gonna watch some of those. It's, it's long, it's longer than I thought it was. It's two hours long, but it's completely indexed. So if you go into the description, you can go through each section and you can fast forward and all that stuff. And I learned so much about, you know, screen recording and, and talking to the, to the microphone while I'm working and stuff like that. So I can't wait, actually, it was really fun. I can't wait to keep making more. In fact, I have an idea for one. We're gonna make the intro to Watch Me Work. We're gonna make the video intro because none of my videos have an official intro yet, which is something I'm pretty sure I need. So more modeling, maybe a little bit more lighting, but I think it's mostly gonna be modeling again. Um, this, this old camera, that is old video camera, which is gonna be really cool and hopefully get into some texturing as well because I want to be able to do that. Some things I noticed were, you know, I, I was doing a lot of talking and it was it was really slow and the Watch Me Work series is not about necessarily the forefront of teaching, that's what tutorials are for. It's more about like just going through things, talking about my thoughts, you know, and um, just more and more getting it done quickly and having someone see what my process is like. Work Hard October has not necessarily all been about 3D and videos, it's been about getting this app out there. So this is MindChi 2.0. It's the really big major release. It's a really big major release. And, uh, you know, after having many meetings, which is cool, I have meetings now, and, uh, you know, calls, uh, deciding what, you know, goes into 2.0, what goes into 2.1, uh, really, really close to getting this back on the App Store, which is so exciting. And um, I've had you know, beta testers, which is really cool. This whole process of, of building apps is really exciting and I really like it. I uh, hope to be doing more. I have a couple apps in mind, so. So a lot of things were happening uh, in addition to the apps being created, the videos being recorded, is that I'm currently in a rehearsal process in my uh, performing and singing job. The reason why I'm here is to uh, perform uh, these, these shows for this, this cruise line. What we have to do is we have to learn three new shows while we're on board. So we have rehearsals during the day, perform shows at night, and we're learning three new shows. So that's like basically 35 to 45 minutes of content per show. 
uh, three of those with the choreography and the blocking and the uh, the music. <laughs> you gotta learn the music. On board, they send someone from the, the head office of the company. Uh, that person then teaches the whole cast, all of that, and then we put them all together. By the time we get to the next ship, we know all the shows, we just have to space them out on stage and then we're good to go. So while all the app stuff and the video stuff is happening, the music and the choreography and the teaching, everything is also happening. So it is a very much work hard October and it's been a blast because I love feeling busy. The worst thing in the world for me is feeling bored. I hate being bored. It is, ugh. So by the time I basically uh, finish living in this, you know, you're basically gonna see every single angle I could possibly get from this cabin because there's only so much space. So today is a sea day and I, I couldn't, I yeah, can't get off the ship. T today, tonight's one of the biggest production value shows that we have. So most of my day is gonna be taken up by that show uh, because we have to do a tech run, which is we, we do the whole show without costumes, what we do with lights and we do it with all the sound and all the automation and things moving on stage, all the production stuff happening so that we can practice it. It's all fresh in our brains. It's all fresh in the uh, stage crew's brains. And uh, then for the show tonight, that's when we get all that makeup on, all the costumes, and we do it for real. My day's mostly taken up by that today. However, I did want to get some work done with the app and I also want to get some, some work done. And I, and I also want to go to the gym because I haven't been able to go to the passenger gym and I'm very spoiled being able to go to that gym. It's so nice. However, uh, the crew gym, as I've just recently discovered, isn't that bad. So I'm going to be going there. Gotta stay fit, right? <laughs>